skeleton over here. Of what? What's it a skeleton of? Dang! Holy smokes! Just got to the new spot. Look at the size of this carp skull. That's my hand. Good golly, look at that. That's my that's my finger. That carp was ginormous. Alright, switching up. Gonna try this. I should have grabbed a bluegill color. I just had this one tied on. Looks like a shad or something. Hopefully they're eating this, but white color. It's got a really good wobble to it. This is a uh, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper Junior. Skinny Skinny Dipper Junior or something. I don't know. Maybe they'll munch on one of these. I switched to the open hook. I had three or four fish over there that I missed on the Miyagi. They were just grabbing at it, but weren't really super, super dedicated to grabbing it and really trying to eat it, minus that one that I caught. So, hoping the old open hook will maybe change that a little bit. See if we can get something reacting to a little little swim bait. Yeah, oh, anything uh, anything willing to eat the swim bait? Come on. Swim bait eaters, come on. There we go. On the swim bait. No missing that one. On the old. Yeah. Oh. Lost him. Right there, lost him. Dang it. All right, well, we're doing the right thing here. Went to lift him, looked like he had it all the way down his mouth, too. Darn it. My drag was not set all the way up. Son of a bisque quick. There's another one. Back here in the shallow speed. Not gonna miss that one. Two, that was the next cast after losing that first one. Turned up my drag, my drag was still down. I was fishing a little crank on it earlier. Yes. There we go, a little swim bait. Got him, switched up, I had missed, I don't know how many on the Miyagi, just a little bit big. Not a huge fish, but hey, we will take it. A little drought there for a little bit. Let's see, that was multiple, multiple fish back there. Get out of here, fella. He gone, kinda, stuck in the stuff there. You're free there, Boudreaux. All right, there we go. So that was, I felt like I had a nick the cast before. And got that fish and lost it. Let's see, maybe they're up here on this side feeding. Let's see if we can go back in there and get another one. Might be a few back over here feeding up. Get a few of them fired up in here, that'd be fun. Come on, a couple more up in here. There it is, another one. Yes, there's a pocket of them here. Pushed right up in here, not big, but that's another one next cast. That's three. All right, must have a little, little thing of them in here. Another little pounder. Other one's probably a pound and a half. Let's go. That's what we're working with, little Skinny Dipper Junior. I forget what color that is. White with kind of a brownish back. Little darker head, heck yeah. That's three casts, three fish. Of course, lost that first one, but that's two back-to-back -back right there. They're chomping it pretty good. Debo, what do you feel is the right amount of ribbing to be able to get away with while fishing? Amount of what? The right amount of ribbing. You can't just come out and... Oh, nice cast, fella. Oh, you mean like ripping each other? Yeah. Oh, I'm all up for friends ripping each other. It's more fun that way. Huh? Do what now? I thought you were going to cross me. I was fishing over here first. If I cross you, that's your fault. Well, I was actually, I claimed this whole area because my truck was here first. Quit horn swoggling all over my spot. <laughs> I actually just want to come over here and fish this. That's a, that's a West Strader saying. Be coming over here trying to horn swoggle me. I want one of those shirts. He had them for sale. I don't know if they still do or not. Darn, that was multiple fish there. Apparently they were just in a little frenzy and gone nothing now there's one good one oh, yeah. better than the others anyway oh guess not 
He felt better. What the heck? Not the same size. Hey! Stop it. There. Look at that angry, angry little dragon. Look at him. He's all upset. Another pounder is all. But all them pounders count in MLF. Another one. All right, fella. Get back in there. Watch. He's upset. Look at him. Go. go, go. All right. Well, the little skinny dipper on a darter head apparently is doing the deed back here. Maybe not correct usage of verbiage there. Little skinny dipper on the darter head. What did I say? Doing the deed back here? Yeah. Possibly might want to rephrase that. Just edit that part out. Yeah, yeah, I'll edit it out. <laughs> it's going to be like all windy, 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 and then perfect condition sounding. Here, fishy, fishy. Nothing more. You try over there. Huh? Get one? Hey, hey, Randizzle on one. It must be stacked up over yonder. Again, not a big one. Some little, little fellas. He has fleas. <whistles> Out a little bit deeper. Another out just a little bit deeper. Him, he was a little upset. There we go. Another guy, man, they're all about the same size. Pound, pound and a half. Get back in there, guy. He gone. Oh, all about the same. Now maybe we keep keep pilfering through these. We'll find a larger one. Look at him. He's stuck here in the moss. Not sure what to do. What in the same heck? Hey, fish, get out of there. There he goes. Ooh! This is why I'm not a fan of this line. I don't know if y'all can see this. Look at that. Any sort of abrasion on this stuff, and it is donezo. This is that 10-pound Berkeley Solutions. I like Berkeley stuff. I'm not dogging on them. I love their stuff a lot, but any sort of anything. Look at that. Oh, Rand is on another one. Any sort of anything, let's see if I just give this a light tug. Done, broke, right there. No abrasion resistance at all. Now this is 10 pound, but still, man, any sort of abrasion on it and this line is done. Dizzle, on another one. Yee My opinion, the best, best uh, budget fluorocarbon, Seeger Red Label. All right, retied that on. Hopefully, I don't have any breakoff issues. If I hook a big one and lose it, oh, that would be upsetting. There's one out a little bit further. Another one on the old skinny dipper. Another. One. That's the biggest one for a while. Uh, I guess about the same. Pound and a halfer. All sorts of pound and a half reaction. How in the heck did this fish get that hook in there? Got it. Had to flip that whole thing completely around. Another one. Yeah, another, I don't know, pound and a halfer. It's all they've been, but dang, this is fun. A little swim bait like that. Look, he's ready to go. Go, get out of here, go, get out. Like I said, a day like this where it's, you know, bluebird skies, nothing too crazy. It's got some movement and these, and this is actually the first that I've used these. I picked some up last week and used them, but these have a really, really good side to side wobble on them. I really like that. I'm just fishing on a little darter head. This is a 1 8 ounce darter head. Again, on the old SLX and that same 13 fishing rod has been doing pretty darn good today. You want to hit the second spot? All right, 